Today I've got, I've hopefully a pretty good palette video for everybody. Haven't put up a palette video for a few days now, and hopefully this one is going to be epic. We've got electronics. Not only that, I've got two huge boxes, and these puppies are heavy. I'm saying these probably weigh between 30 to 35 pounds a piece. The total manufacturer's suggested retail price of everything in these two boxes, if it was brand new on Amazon.com, but it is not. All these items came from Amazon. Full price is $2,280. So this is over $2,000 value, possibly. But of course, these are customer returns, overstock, shelf pulls, warehouse damage, and some will just be flat out brand new still. But my cost, what I actually paid, $317. So I got it for, you know, not a pretty good price still, you know? It still wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. Prices of electronics this week went up a little bit. And I had to pay up to get what I wanted this week, but that's fine. Sometimes if you want to get a certain kind of genre of product, you got to pay more than what you would normally like to pay. But you know what? That's okay. Let's do this. Perfect. 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 So hopefully these two boxes net me a pretty nice profit since you know I paid a decent chunk of money for them over three hundred dollars and it looks good on the inside yeah I don't even want to try to pick this thing up because these boxes have weight to them so we're just gonna pull these things out one thing at a time show the camera and uh, let's uh, give a little estimation on price see how it is and let's do this. First thing we got a Razor Lance Head. Good first item, that's for sure. The Razor always sell really well. Those things sell extremely fast. So this thing will be gone more than likely today. It will sell. It won't last long. I gotta put it in backwards. Yeah, uh, prices on these things, not, I'm not the best on prices, honestly. But yeah, I mean, it looks to be pretty much like new condition. An original packaging, packaging's in fantastic shape. It's a good first item, I'll take it. Uh, AEGIR smart pen, right digital. And the original packaging's got charging cord to it. I've never sold this brand. I've never seen this pin before. So that's different. It's also it's Bluetooth, live scribe. Not a bad item. Take it. Access point. Key cabinet pro. Um, these are not super expensive. Um, they always have a little bit of value to them. Not like crazy kind of money or anything. But I think I still use it in the past for maybe like 20, 20, 30 bucks or so. But yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, we had one of these, I think actually last week in a pallet. Or maybe two weeks ago. But yeah, I remember seeing this item right here. Pretty much, it just prote it projects up uh, planets, stars, Earth. Not Earth. Uh, well, I, I actually, I, I think it, I think it can. Earth, sun, moon, stars, planets, and um, I think it's. I haven't sold it yet, though. Still, um, it's still sitting. But I think I'm asking like thirty or thirty-five, forty bucks on it in that range. I see a record poking through the side right here. Oh, cool! We got a David Bowie. David Bowie, let's dance. We have the first record out of this palette. So most all these records I end up selling for $15 ship if I don't keep them for my own collection. But yeah, David Bowie, I probably honestly won't keep this David Bowie. I don't need this record. Not a must have for my collection, not a must have. So that one will be for sale 
$15 shipped in, in the US. Everything else, prices that I do quote, does not include shipping. The only items that include shipping are usually are just records because I can ship a record for a little over $3. Everything else, shipping is much more expensive because the uh, postal service, they have media mail, which is extremely cheap shipping, but it can only be used for items like records, uh, like media, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, next, what we got? We've got protective case for... Not sure which kind of phone it's for though. I sell most phone cases for like five bucks or so. Galaxy S10 glass screen protector. Uh, five, ten bucks on that. And we got our first iPhone cord. We've got a 12 volt, 100 watt waterproof electronic LED driver. I'm gonna go ahead and say this thing might not be good though. The the cord is all look it's kind of like burnt up looking, kind of like charred. I'm gonna go ahead and say this thing's trash. I'm just gonna call it right now. Say it's trash for safety reasons, so nobody gets hurt. Let's see. Oh, I know this is right here. This is replacement heads to a men's shaver. Without even pulling all the little pieces out, I've received them before. Model number MG3750. <clears throat> I actually sold it for like 10 bucks, but it's replacement heads for like the different like lengths for like, you know, beard, beard lengths or I guess hair lengths, you know. Honeywell Wi-Fi Smart Color Thermostat. That's nice. Yeah, this has got value to it right here. I have not seen this for, I bet you, maybe a year or so. Looks like it might have been taken out of the package a few times. Um, it might have been installed at one point, maybe. Possibly, it looks like it might have been installed... All the instructions are there and everything. So, uh, like, I'd probably not sell this thing in used condition. I think new, trying to think back, I think new for this thing is like 125 to 150 new, if I, if I remember correctly. Last time I sold this thing, it's like 125, 150 new. So used is probably between like 7,500 bucks in used condition for, for this item. So, like I'd probably go more like low end, just just to guesstimate, you know, safely, like seventy five bucks on this, I bet. But it might be more closer to a hundred, but seventy five dollars, you know, just to play it safe. But it might be more like a hundred, you know what I'm saying? What's this oh swing swing arm and C clamp desk lamp. See it right there in the picture. It has weight to it. I'll probably sell a thing for like 20 bucks. Not a whole lot. Oh man, okay, so in here you have two full reams of printer paper. I'm just gonna leave those in the box. Um, printer paper, I've actually been donating some of that stuff just because I had way too much. It's just kind of trash. Then we've got, oh, we, some kind of erasable, retractable, refillable, ball, frixion, clickable, clickable pins. Huh. Yeah, some of my, um, like school supplies, uh, home and office stuff kind of things. Sometimes I will, uh, save them up and then sell those things in bulk. Because people are always trying to buy that, buy like uh, office supplies. So I'll just save that stuff up and sell it in bulk. 
That's brand new, right? Oh no, no, hold on. No, it's just, it's been it's been retaped, but he's got replacement pieces. About five bucks now because it's not factory sealed. <laughs> a box of permanent black markers. I'll probably keep that honestly. Ugh. Move that printer paper out of the way. Welcome, guys. Ultra compact Bluetooth keyboard. This is an Anchor Ultra Compact Bluetooth keyboard. I won't be able to see on the back of it the actual brand name. It's probably not going to stand out very, very well. But, like 20 bucks on the keyboard or so in that range. Oh, we have a Dymo um, label gun. 15 bucks on that or so. Shaler S locks S locks nickel. I don't even know what that is. What that's used for. Say so I do not know. No clue. Let's see what we got. We got a DVD. Older movies right there. A few bucks on that. Not a whole lot. Then we got a solar light, an inflatable solar light. As long as it inflates, probably about 10 bucks on that. And this thing's this thing's kind of beat up. What is it? Pretty used, whatever it is. Smart floodlight. So it's it's an LED smart floodlight. It is extremely beat up. I mean, it is beat up. There's like chunks out of it, broken pieces out of it. It's just gonna be trash. Then we got a couple records right here. Actually, we've got more than a couple records. First one on top. We've got Stephen Malcolmus and the Jicks Sparkle Hard. Never heard of that. That's going to be about $15 shipped. Next, we've got Eat to the Beat Blondie. But that's a good one. That'll be for sale. 15 shipped on the Blondie. And then the last one, this one. Oh, we got Elton John. This is not factory sealed. This is just poly bagged by Amazon. They probably bag a lot of the uh, liquidations that, that they do just to keep them clean while they're in storage. But yeah, here's got an Elton John. It's just called Elton John. Fantastic shape. I mean, this thing is like immaculate condition. So Elton's probably still gonna be like $15 ship. So that's it for the first box with some printer paper in the box still. I mean, box up all this stuff i'll be back with the last box or the second box the second box actually weighs more than the first box so i'm curious what's in the second box really curious bear back here we go second box Let's see what we got we got records right on top at least we got a couple a few records first one on top we have another one of the a star is born soundtrack the actual cover to this one is kind of beat up a little bit. It's got some condition issues to the cover. I have to make sure that the records are okay, that they play all right. Like all the records, always make sure they do play okay before I sell them. But yeah, this one, it's got some condition issues. But as long as it plays okay, it'll be 15 shipped. And next, we've got Red Hot, Red Hot Chili Peppers Stadium Arcadium. That's neat. It's kind of like a two record chili peppers box set. It is. First one. And second one. That's neat. So I had to actually see how much this thing sells for um this is going to be more than 15 dollars shipped on this i mean that's a guarantee so this might be more like 
25 or 30 dollars shipped like I, I, I'm, I'm not I'm really don't I'm not sure but uh, this is probably I'm guessing maybe a live album or something with the chili peppers but yeah I'm actually going to enjoy listening to this checking it out before I sell it yeah chili peppers that's cool I like that I'll be tempted to keep it but I'm not going to because because I've already got enough records from the band chili peppers I don't need any more next oh we got the same thing from earlier the uh, replacement heads 10 bucks on that DJ pre 2 phono preamplifier phono preamp DJ gear that's neat I usually don't get DJ stuff in Amazon pallets it's different it could be like 20 30 bucks I bet we got like a iPro iPad like a mini case like five ten bucks on those oh what is on that gross let's see you got a s10 plus case cases like five bucks We've got one of those more high-tech LED light bulbs. Reimagine lighting. What brand is it? I'm not sure. I have to do a little search on that. See how much the thing sells for. But yeah, nice. The fabulous Freebirds bootleg DVD. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That thing, that thing looks looks. It looks very, very bootleg. Yeah, I won't be selling that one. This is actually in a DVD R format. It says too. So yeah, that's a that's a bootleg. The next we've got. Oh, it's like a kid's toy. There's an airplane. A metal airplane, then like a runway for it. It's different. That's why is that electronics for? About five bucks on that. What's this? Oh, I've sold this before. This thing's expensive, actually. This that Cosmo. Oh, this thing's actually really expensive. Uh, I sold this over Christmas time last year. I sold this thing used for like one fifty. 140 or 150 used. Yeah, this the thing's expensive. This is not cheap whatsoever. Yeah, new condition. Uh, I've actually have never sold this thing new. I'm not even sure what new condition is. But in used con condition in the original box, I'm thinking yeah, I got like around 140, 150 for it. Taped on all fours. It got taped by Amazon. Yeah, it's nice it has all the packaging for it that helps you get a lot more for it. yeah good it has all the blocks for it it's very important to have all the blocks because it needs these blocks for it to like do its thing it has the instruction guides oh yeah it's in fantastic condition so yeah this thing here I mean that's this is a good uh, probably 150 bucks as it sits as it has the original packaging the packaging is in fantastic condition, has all the blocks, has the Cosmo. That's nice. This is probably going to be the best thing in the entire, the entire pallet. This is like this is like the coupe of the whole pallet right here. That's awesome. That's fantastic right there. Cool. I like it. Yeah, let's see. What we got? Oh, we just got a charging cord. And, yeah, you know, a few bucks on that. Actually, I'll probably didn't sell that. Vector. Yeah, these two things are pretty much like the same thing. Just different brands it looks like. This one's Cosmo. This one's a Vector. But yeah, it's pretty much it's, it's the same thing. If you, if you look at them. Same thing. 
I've never sold the Vector though. Never sold, never sold the Vector. Well, there's the Vector. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little bit different, but it's like the exact same thing. So the Vector only comes with one block instead of three. Only one. But it's pretty much this, the same item. So it probably sells for, honestly, it's probably about the same price. 140, 150 bucks in this condition. It's, it's probably about the same price. So that's cool. That's awesome. Same thing, just different brands. Awesome. I'll take it. Oh, Cosmo. There you go. Take it. What we got? We got Happy Feet. Never seen Happy Feet. I'll actually watch this before I sell it. Widescreen version, a few bucks. We've got Days Gone for the PlayStation 4. What year is this? How old is it? It is 2019, so this is a very new game then. So it came out this year, Days Gone, used condition, the game is in it. That's probably a good 20, 30 bucks, I bet. I'll have to play this thing before I sell it though. Make sure, you know, this thing might be awesome. Looks like this might be kind of like kind of like a zombie game, it looks like. Cool. Next, we got. Oh, we got the Mario Kart for the Wii. Game is in it. Yeah, but that's an old system now, so I'm sure it's not much more like 10, 15 bucks. Then we got Survivor Samoa. Whatever season that is, I do not know. Somebody's gonna, somebody put a note on this disc. Disc two Samoa, first episode, repeat, skips, bad. So it looks like, oh, disc three, bad. So I guess whoever bought this from Amazon, these discs did not play correctly for them. So actually, I'll try it out in my own deep DV player and see if it works. I'll find out. Next, what we got? Uh, iPad case, five bucks. CD Nancy Hops, a few bucks on that. Just some bubble wrap. Ugh. Here's the records. Marin Morris, the hero, about 15 bucks shipped on that. We've got Tadishi Trucks, 15 shipped. John Mayer, 15 shipped. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, the Talking Heads, 15 shipped. And then some like Arts and Crafts. Let's see. Avery Labels. Oh, here's the Star Wars Born soundtrack on CD. It's probably a good five bucks for the Star Wars Born soundtrack on CD. Here's a Yamaha pedal. Either for guitar or maybe for something like that. So this is kind of like a. What is this? Oh, it's an an HDMI like port. Ten bucks on that. Oh, we've got. More printer paper in here. Of course, that's where all the weights from the printer paper. Markers. Now going to my my supply to save up. Uh, it goes so you can listen to your headphones. iPhone cord. Queen greatest hits one and two. Uh, I sold this recently. I had this pallet. I sold it for fifteen dollars shipped. So I have another set. So if you want this, hit me up. Fifteen ship. Queen Grace Hits 1 and 2 on CD. P 
power supply, a uh, little power supply in there. Scoped mouse. Microsoft scoped mouse. Probably about 15, 20 bucks on that. iHome spot for your dot. Color changing, Bluetooth rechargeable, stereo speaker system for Amazon Echo Dot. I've never seen this one. I'm curious. The barcode on this one is not covered up. Lots of times Amazon covers up barcodes on items, but this one, they failed to cover the barcode. So I can look this thing up quickly. It sells new for $59.99, really? Wow. So it's 60 bucks new, open box item, probably 30, 40 bucks then for that. That's not bad. Paper out of the way. Oh, okay. This is a grow light. People can use this to grow plants with. Some of those grow lights are like 20, 30 bucks. Portable condenser microphone. Okay. 20 bucks on the portable condenser microphone. Great if you want to vlog on the go, podcast on the go. Different. A bunch of post-it notes. Now, this box is a bunch of small stuff in the bottom. A French horn stand. Why is this in electronics? Actually, you could use this for a French horn. You could use this for maybe a, a guitar. Maybe several things, actually. Maybe. Ugh, these nasty. Those labels have like this nasty, sticky substance. It's like, I'm not sure how to explain it. Those Avery labels have this substance all over the package that's like a, like a sticky substance on it that's kind of gross. So we just, throw, we just throw it away. Cheryl Crow, uh, Live at the Capitol Theater CD. Oh, five bucks on that, maybe as high as 10. Glue sticks, scotch. 18 sticks, it's missing six of them. Probably 50 cents a piece, 12 of them, you know, five bucks. I'll probably put those into the stack for my uh, home and office stack. Here's a thing called Scared Stiff. I've never heard of this. Um, maybe I have. Here's an 80s horror movie, and I, oh, what is on that? I wanted to clean that thing off before I can even try to play it. I wanted to check it out, though, before I sell it, because I'm kind of intrigued of what this movie is. Scared stiff, but needs cleaned very, very bad. Generations Collection? Disney movie? Child of Glass? I've never heard of that. A few bucks. Remote skin for an, for an Alexa voice? A few bucks on that iPhone 6 Defender Case OtterBox. iPhone 6 is kind of like obsolete, but some people still have it. Uh, this is lightly used, so about 10 bucks on that. More of these Avery labels. Then we've got computer paper and this. Full metal black refillable mechanical pencil. In this packaging, I'll just put that into my uh, office supply stack while that builds up until I sell it. And last item is this. Uh, somebody was doing some drawings. Looks kind of like a drawing board kind of a thing. I guess put that into the office supply stack that I'm going to start and then sell it in bulk to one person. Okay, so anyway, that's what I got. That is the the entire palette of electronics that I purchased for three hundred and was it seventeen dollars? Has a value of original full value was over two thousand. 
I'm gonna say uh, the actual value after everything with open package items. Um, uh, you know, some stuff that I pitched because it was just kind of gross. I say probably the actual value is probably maybe a thousand to twelve hundred in that range. So I mean, no matter what, I'm gonna get maybe three times my money back. I I could be way off though until I go back through and um, edit the video and figure out what the actual what the return the potential return could be. But no matter what though, this is going to be profitable. Like I'm going to make some decent cash on this palette. It did have a lot of school supplies in it, office supplies more than what I wanted, that I hoped for. It did have quite a bit of just office stuff. I had a couple of those robot little little Cosmo things. Just those two things alone actually paid for the entire palette. The, actually, yeah, those those two things paid for everything. And everything else was pure profit then, actually. So, yeah, cool, right? So anyway, that is palette flipping. That is palette flipping you kind of hope to maybe get one or two items from your palette to pay for everything and then everything else there's a smooth sailing you just sell it and you make your profit turn that profit and just keep turning you know what i'm saying so uh, that's what i got for you i've got videos coming up all this next week sometimes two videos a day so be on the lookout for that for double upload video days also i have a brand new youtube channel called Franchise TV, where all YouTube videos on that on that channel are live. So, I'm going to leave a direct link below in the description box to that YouTube channel if you want to check it out and subscribe. And if you do, make sure you click the bell next to the subscribe button so it will notify you whenever I go live so that you're contacted that I'm live on YouTube at that time so that you can uh, communicate live with myself, other viewers at that time so it's it's fun the last time that i went live i was live for almost three hours and it and it was fun and i plan to go live possibly a couple times a week so make sure check it out feel free to subscribe if you want to and i'll see you next time i'm out